Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome if you're new here, and welcome back if you're a current subscriber, seen my videos before. My name is Adriana, I'm a certified personal trainer, and here on my YouTube channel, I talk about PCOS, share some at-home slash gym workout videos, some vlogs here and there, and like we're doing today, I'm sharing one of the meals I enjoy making. So, you've probably seen a lot of salmon-based videos and salmon recipes on my account because salmon is a main fish we do enjoy eating but there is a great replacement to salmon if you don't have access to it or if you're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly or if you're looking to switch it up and kind of stray away from the salmon and like we're in drug free I did have a drug free recipe yes well we're making trout trout is a phenomenal replacement for salmon it is rich in its omega-3s high quality protein and it is also a fatty fish, just like salmon. It is has a lot of nutrients in it, and a lot of minerals and vitamins, which we need in order to continue on, to continue living a healthy lifestyle and supporting our bodies with what it needs. This is also a great fish to eat if you have PCOS and you're on an anti-inflammatory diet. Highly recommend this fish. So today we're gonna to be making a lemon Italian baked trout dish. So I already have my oven set and already preheated to 420 degrees. So all that's left is prepping the fish, seasoning it, throwing it in the oven until it's cooked, so about 25 to 30 minutes, and then enjoying it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first, we gotta get this thing out of the bag. It's gonna need a knife, pretty simple. All right, uh, probably not the safest way to do this. Okay, so I have a pan with lined with foil already here on the side. Gonna plop that right in there and scooch that over. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the sink and this in the trash. BRB. Okay, so I'm gonna first add some olive oil onto this salmon. Not salmon, trout, trout. God, just a drizzle of it across it. And now I'm gonna add, squeeze half a lemon onto it. Soy. I love my garlic powder, so I'm gonna add in some garlic powder right here. And just Italian seasoning up next. I don't really measure this out. If you've watched my videos enough, you know a lot of my recipes, I kinda season with my heart. I just wanna make sure this is kinda coated everywhere. Perfect. Well, I'm not sure how the lighting's gonna come out because you know it's past daylight savings, so now we're working different lights. Uh, but this looks absolutely delicious in person <laughs> if it weren't raw. So let's go ahead and put that in the oven again. We're gonna be cooking it for 25 to 30 minutes or until it hits a safe internal temperature for you to eat. So be right back with the final results. Alrighty, I let the trout cool off for about two minutes, so it's still continuing internally cooking. And then I let it cool off for about another additional few minutes, so it's cool enough for me to eat, but still hot enough where you feel all the warmth and everything. So no one wants to eat cold fish. It's not fun. Well, we're going in for the taste test. I love it. The ends turn out a little crispy because I accidentally held it in the oven a couple minutes too late. That's okay. Still tastes absolutely delicious. And I do like crispy ends. That's just me. But again, this is, it tastes almost exactly like salmon. So if you're looking for a salmon replacement that's a little more budget friendly or just looking for a different fish to try, I highly recommend uh, trying trout, whether it's rainbow trout or 
steelhead trout like this one is, steelhead, again, really high in omega-3s, great in minerals, vitamins, and uh, nutrients that our bodies need to fuel our bodies that we need every single day and help with PCOS symptoms. It is a part of an anti-inflammatory diet as well. So with that being said, give this, give this recipe a shot and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've had trout before, if there's a different fish you want me to try, I was thinking maybe going ahead and getting bass. I have not had bass, specifically largemouth bass since I was a kid. So I'm kind of on the hunt around the Chicagoland area and where I can find this bass because I'm not seeing it any of the major grocery stores. So I may have to go to one of those fish markets to go ahead and grab it. Uh, so that's a mission for another day, specifically when it's warmer so I can grill it. But um, again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, interact with it, whether it's liking or subscribing to it. And if you haven't already, I recommend you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and you can keep up with all my postings, especially if you put that notification bell on. But with that being said, I'll leave this be because I'm rambling now. <laughs> but with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.